Consider yourself. Let's see if it's empty. The very thing we have criticized people for you end up doing it. Come on. Be one another's burden. And so fulfill love Christ. Pray for one another. Don't criticize each other when you say anything wrong. No. No matter about me, I'll never do that. Of course you wouldn't do that, but you're something else. All right. All sin is sin. All right now. That's right. Oh, you can read it when you go home. <laughs> it just popped in my mind to, to go here. I don't even know if you know the sermon. So when you are tempted, and you close your eyes to the temptation, that's when God will move in your behalf. Heal not the temptation by healing your sin. When the tempter comes, uh oh. To tempt you. Heal not to temptation. When the things of the world become easy to get. Ask yourself what God is going to get out of it. What is in it for God? Heal not to temptation. It's not of God. Forget it. He not to them, wait, listen, how to serve. Will God be pleased if I get into this? <laughs> Some of you have to be careful of the man you draw into your life. The first thing you need to say, does God gonna get anything out of this? Woman, be careful. Man, be careful. Ask yourself, would these things make me a better Christian? Will this give me a better Christian lifestyle? Or is a part of as a part-time Christian? Isn't it? Part-time Christianity. You gotta check it out before you make a move. That's right. Yeah. What the end result will be. Come on now. Man and woman. Hallelujah. Talk to us. Will it make God look good or make him look bad? So I ask myself the question. What good will come out of it? You see, we need as Christians to use our spiritual mind. Before we run off with anything. Check on God. God, is this the right thing for me to do? And then you want to hurry God. Because the flesh is saying one thing. And the spirit is saying, hold on. Wait until God speaks to you. Why am I talking like this? You must include God in your business then. I say you must include God in your business. Everything. It doesn't matter what it is. Praise the Lord. Amen. If a man says, I love you, darling. I climb the highest mountain for you. I say the word is see. I'm on the mountain. She's on the sea. But baby. Listen, you got some sweet talkers. One guy couldn't find enough words to tell the girl. And can't talk. I think my brother was there too. And then look at the girl and say, I love it to salad. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Run out of words. John 10. And verse 10. The thief cometh not but to steal, to kill, and to destroy. I come. Somebody say praise the Lord. Somebody say praise the Lord. Give the Lord a thanks of honor praise. Praise him because he's wonderful. 
Praise for a wonderful grace and mercy. Because grace and mercy have to follow us all the days of our lives. Satan the tempter come to steal, kill, and destroy. Don't follow him. Do not follow him. He come to destroy you. Do not trust him. I say he will deceive you. He will lure you into the trap. You must keep in mind that he is the first deceiver. He's the first one to go up against his maker. And the Bible says he's the first liar. He's the father of lies. He's a thief. He will steal everything you got. He is a murderer. Yes, everything back. I'm becoming booked because he's a murderer. All right. He's a murderer. He's a murderer. He's a murderer. All right. One embarrassed for what he's saying. He's a murderer. Ah, killer, killer. Number one killer. Listen. Because he's a murderer, he put it in the first man, the first murder committed. Cain. He put the idea in Cain's mind. And Cain committed the first murder. He is the one who deceived Mother Eve. You are no match for him. He will do you in like he did to Mother Eve. Your only hope is in Jesus Christ. Yes. Lean on him. Yes. Lean not to your understanding, but lean on Jesus. Yes. Oh God. Yes. Amen. When you lean on Jesus, say there's not a match for you. He's right no match for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Yes. Jesus Christ defeated him yes. for us at Calvary. Yes. And he has nothing on us. Hallelujah. No. We have the victory. Yes. To walk in, to walk in the victory. I say you are the victory, walk in the victory. Thank you. Yes. Yes, victory in Jesus. Everybody say the victory in Jesus. When the tempter comes, the temptation to deceive you. Put your total trust in Jesus Christ. You cannot waver. You got to be solid. You got to be pure. Mm. Pure in faith, believing. When you are tempted, and the temptation is too strong, call on Jesus. Don't think about it. Just call on Jesus. That Jesus, I need you now. No. You no. got to call on Jesus yes. and say to him, I need thee yes. every hour. Yes. I need thee every minute. Yes. I need thee yes. every second. Yes. Jesus, yes. I need yes. thee now. Yes. Jesus, I'm hungry for you. Yes, sir. Bread of heaven, feed me. Feed me with wisdom until I want no more. And we see in 1 Corinthians 10, 13, Lord, we are weak. But, but you are strong. Guide me with that powerful hand. Lord, I depend on you. Lord, I depend on your word. To guide me through this pilgrim land. We are weak, but Jesus, you are mighty to lead us with your powerful hand. You see, when Christ is in the vessel, you can smile at the storm. Nothing can take God by surprise. 
So God's word says, no temptation can take you, but God won't make a way of escape. Oh God, every situation that come up, I will find ourselves in. God is faithful. I said, God is faithful. And make a way of escape just for you. So we must trust God. The so neighbor, neighbor, trust in the Lord always. Trust in the Lord always. And again I say trust him. And again I say trust, trust him. him. Yes, yes, everybody get temptation. Everybody. Even me get it. Everybody. <laughs> in the temptation, God will not allow you to be overtaken by it. We will overcome any situation with the help of God. So trust Him in all your ways. And let me say this to you. For you to overcome the tempter, you got to know that He is real. How much power this tempter has. And if you have any power over us, you got to know. You got to know. That's right. That's the one You must know what you are up against. That's right. If you are going to battle, you must be foolish. That's right. Now. You must be a foolish man to yes. go battle and know your enemy strong. Hey! Hallelujah. Because here you have 20 men. Oh. And you know that you have a thousand over there waiting on you. That's right. So you need to know. If you meant to make peace, yes. I, you must. <laughs> you need to know if you have to go do some ambush. <laughs> For you to overcome the tempter, you got to know that he's real. Some people don't think Satan is real. And you must know what you're up against. First of all, you must know that he's the president of hell and evil. Having power to kill, steal, and destroy. You don't want to make the mistake and give the temper any credit. And power over you. So you need to know your worth in Christ. And stick to it. That's right. Don't let him say track you. No, 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 no. Ground, Realize that mm. I can't fight this battle without Jesus. And in battle, you don't want to overestimate your enemy. Yes, sir. And underestimate his existence. Ah. And the road he plays. You need to know. His struggles and his strength. That's right. Yeah. Amen. 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 And this is why the Lord says, study to show yourself approved unto God. A workman need not be ashamed. Rightly dividing the word of truth. It is necessary to know the power of your enemy before you face him. That's right now. That's the truth. Hey. That's right. That's the truth. David knew. David knew. That he was a giant. That's right, David knew. David knew. Yes, sir. But he knew that I have a God. I yes, have a God. Amen. Hey, man. Hey. Hard, powerful God. Yes. And when I put my trust in him, yes, one little stone. Yes, sir. One stone. Right, now. Mm. Uh -huh. Never miss. So you are here today to gather information. Yes. I am sent to inform you yes. with this information. The temper and its tragedy. Yes. The temp you is real. Yes. But no, when you trust in God, He'll make it known unto you. Amen. So make sure you listen. To what I am saying to you. Mm -hmm. 
Ah, don't make it slip. I hear a Christian say once, Satan, you have no power. In the meantime, Satan was using him. And he didn't realize it. You need to know Satan power. Because the Bible says he is the prince of the power of the year. Mm -hmm. In Ephesians 2 and 2 and St. John 12, 31. You must know that Satan's power is temporary. Not the turn up. No. Yes. You must know that Satan's power is a temple to the point that we ignore and disobey God. Yes. Satan has been using his power, his power. from creation to lower people away from God. That's right. You need to know what he did. We take one third of the angels God created and convinced them to follow him. Praise the Lord. I say you need to know. You can't just go up against him and don't know. In Revelation chapter 12 and verse 4. And his tail drew the third. 